everyone I am back <laughs> today with this video and I'm really excited because a lot of things have changed about me not a lot kind of not really I got my braces off and I'm super happy with the results hopefully you guys like my smile now I don't know I'm really happy because I've always been insecure about my smile and my teeth but yeah and I also got a haircut you can't really tell because I have it up in like these little braids but the point is the video is that I'm showing you how I did this look. So I did half of it using like makeup you can find at Sephora or at Ulta that's like high end. And then um, this side of my face is using affordable products. Not only are they affordable but you can find them at like your local CVS, Walmart. So anywhere where you find like groceries. So hopefully you guys like that because when I watch videos like this and they use like Morphe and ColourPop, I get really like kind of butt hurt because I know when I was 12, I didn't have a credit card. So I was just like, really? I can't really buy that because it's like online. So I use products that you can find at like Walmart and CVS and all those other drugstores. So hopefully you guys like it and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I'm going to apply all my high-end products on my left side of the face, so your right, so we can like keep this on track so you can see the difference between the two products. If you're wondering how these two primers feel on the face, they feel very silicone-y, so they're going to be perfect to uh, fill in your pores. So this NARS Sheer Glow Foundation is seriously one of my favorite foundations ever just because the finish is super natural looking but it's like more of a light medium coverage if you're wondering. And the dupe for this foundation is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and I'm so happy and excited to show you this because that foundation is super expensive, but the True Match is super inexpensive, so hopefully you guys will enjoy it as much as I do. Now this is the infamous Macro Longwear Concealer, and it's very famous because of its great coverage. So finding a dupe for it was kind of tricky, but I ended up finding one from Maybelline, and it's their Master Conceal. And guys, this is really good. I like it because it's not as thick as the MAC Pro Longwear, so hopefully you'll like it as much as I do. Set my whole face and under my eyes, I will be using the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. This is very popular and it's for a reason because it's so great guys and it's also cruelty free if you're interested in that. Since it is winter time my face has been feeling quite dry so that's why you see me go over my face with the Beauty Blender just to pounce back some moisture onto my face. You guys may have seen this coming because this powder is a very famous dupe on uh, YouTube for the Laura Mercier. Um, the only difference between them is that this one has a very heavy floral scent. Someone who is sensitive to scented makeup products may not enjoy this, but I think it's really great. Hopefully you guys like it too. It's that time of the year where I have to bronze a lot because my face looks so pasty. But this is the Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced. It smells amazing, tastes amazing, don't eat it, just saying. The Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula is another great bronzer for very pale girls just because it's not too dark and you can go heavy with this and not look like you went rolling in the mud. But I really enjoy this scent but it can be a little bit overpowering. I mentioned this on my Instagram where this smells too coconutty. Now I'm really sorry about this but I think this palette is a limited edition one but the blush in there is very identical to the formula they have in their individual blushes. So I found a great tube and I actually use this on a lot of my clients. This is the Milani Powder Blush in Romantic Rose. They have amazing colors in this line. They're all matte so if you're not a very shimmery, glittery, blush wearing girl, these are perfect for you. 
For my highlight, I'm using the Laura Mercier Big Powder, and it says it's a matte bronzer, but it's so not a bronzer or matte. It's such a beautiful powder. This highlighter is not like your typical Becca shimmering skin perfector. It's more like a within glow. And this Essence Pure Nude highlighter that I figured out um, from Kathleen is the perfect dupe. It's such a great everyday highlighter. Using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. Now I left a little extra clips in here so you guys can see how I fill them in a little bit. Just because my brow routine has extremely changed from my last video on my brows. And to set them, I'm using the Gimme Brow. This is the old packaging, so the new one is so much better. I have it, and I didn't show it on here just because I'm trying to finish this one. And for the uh, drugstore side, I'm using the NYX Micro Brow. Also really, really great. I think it has the same formula in the texture and everything is identical. And to set them, I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Plumper. This is like my go-to gel for my eyebrows. It's such a great brow gel. On a daily basis, I really do not wear any eyeshadow, so I'm just using some of the bronzer into my crease. And also, drugstore eyeshadows aren't really that great, unfortunately. Because both of these wands are so basic, I think they lengthen and volumize the lashes perfectly, and I love them so much. I'm a contact wearer and I really cannot find gel liners that will be like heavy duty on my waterline and my tight line. So these two are just amazing and I was very shocked because I did wear this out like the day before to make sure that I'm giving you guys the best products that I can find. And the Maybelline one stayed on for a very long time and also the Marc Jacobs. I'm confused to why there's two prices on the Salon Perfect lashes. It's because I'm showing you that if you buy one pair it's $283 but if you buy a five pack it's the same amount as if you were to buy one pack from the House of Lashes company. I honestly never use my MAC gel liner just because I feel like it's so streaky and I prefer my L'Oreal gel liner so much more just because I feel like it's so much more pigmented. I still remember mentioning this dupe to you guys and I still stand by it till this day just because they do the same thing. That is it for the whole tutorial. I really hope you guys liked my video and I will see you very soon. Bye!